But in this episode, I actually want to talk about the thesis topics you need to cover before you write to you post to tell me. The funniest thing is that we is going to give you just 10 questions. And you can imagine reading the whole of new school pieces, Lamlad, one time sources, even to the extent that you carry some A level test books. At the end of the day, you get to see just 10 questions. Well, the 10 questions matter. So let's see what it takes and let's see those topics you need to cover if you actually want to do well. If you score 10 in physics, that's a plus for you. So let's see how we're going to do that. And welcome back, guys. If you're here to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you do so. You are the kind of encouragement. Are you the push me? Are you the encouragement to make more videos, actually? You know, I'm camera shy, but when I see you subscribe, I have to do something. So now, with what we want to say right now, I need you to pay close attention to this. I made a video the last time talking about how you can beat your barrel IS to know you post to tell me. Talked about some points you need to check out before you write to your e post to tell me. So if you're here to watch that video, please don't worry, it's just like a nine minute, ten minute video. Please go and watch it so that you get to understand this, so that you know even more about what I want to say right now. So in this episode, let's get down to now is if you really want to do well in physics these are the important topics you need to cover for so who is dimensional analysis and conversion factor is one of the important topics so you must know how to do a whole lot of deep dimension analysis like finding the dimension of resistance inductive reactance inductive and uh, capacitive reactance electromotive force and so on so you need to know how to find all the dimensions of those factors and you must know a lot about unit vectors so try and know one or two things about unit vectors so that you can impute your unit vectors into some bit of calculations or motions later then when you get to motion try to study especially even if you're not going to study anything study projectile and simple harmonic motion the analysis of projectile and simple harmonic motion in two dimensions will always help you out. So, but study simple harmonic motion very well. Oftentimes, questions come out on simple harmonic motion. And the next topic you need to cover is momentum in two dimensions. Remember, collision of bodies in two dimensions. Bodies can be going and now what you always do before is that a body is moving along a linear path and when it collides with another body and they ask you to calculate either common velocity either the change in velocity either anything they ask you to do but what we always do is that they take you to the two dimension that means you have to be resolving to the y-axis and to the x-axis before you find the resultant velocity so try and know about collision of bodies in two dimensions is that taken then after that there is this aspect of linear momentum where you often ask you to calculate distance within the range of time so they can say that what is the distance between six seconds and eight seconds questions come out like that a whole lot of time and they can even say that uh, the range difference is two seconds just understand the time frame and the distance to calculate so the next thing to know is that this aspect is actually very important most students often find it difficult and it's because it's word problems so try to understand equilibrium of forces very well understand how to interpret questions when you are dealing with questions on equilibrium of forces understand gravitational field understand all those relationship applications not just uh, all the basics try to get the basics right but many things you need to understand so understand the principles involved in gravitational field and forces then the next thing is move on to hydrostatics talking about density liquid fluids and all the whole lot of properties of fluids talk about it then know much about um pressure pressure yes you must be able to relate pressure to kinetic theory so know how to do all those things relate pressure to kinetic theory so the next thing is temperature conversion how do you do your conversion from kelvin to fahrenheit to degree celsius so you must also know how to do that when you know how to do your temperature conversion then you must also know how to talk about linear expansion and the measurement of heat so when you're done with that you need to know some bits about simple machine so know a lot about simple machine know a lot about work energy and power know a lot about the deep aspects of applications of those things so know a lot about them 
then so the next thing you need to know after talking about temperature and heat and heat measurement is to move on to sand waves sand waves a lot about the sonometer wire a lot about the pipes and the end, end, end corrections of the pipes try to know about sand waves doppler effects and everything although within the short time you can do all that just touch all these points i've mentioned within the short time and lights lights and mirrors so move on to lights and mirrors know a lot about reflection at plane and curved surfaces know a lot about those calculations where you strike one mirror reflected to another mirror then you are trying to calculate the angle of refraction know a lot about um, mirror rotation as well so try and know much about those aspects then the next thing is you move on to is lens so you need to know a lot about lenses especially talking about refractive indices for different media so know about refractive indices you can place one medium on top of the other how refraction will happen in the two media so you need to also know about all those things then when you are done talking about refractive indices the most important aspect again is lens formula and optical instruments so try and know much about optical instruments then when you are done with that you can also know much about dispersion of colors dispersion then another important topic that you might actually see your own 10 questions on is current electricity you can have 10 questions on current electricity so don't be surprised you can have 10 questions on mechanics don't be surprised that's why you have to try and know everywhere. So when it comes out, you don't say, I, did, I read this so much and I didn't see questions on it. When you cover every aspect, you are definitely going to see questions. And for the current electricity, most times they compare the EMF of different batteries or compare all this that you have to do relations, equation relations, E equals to I capital R plus I sub R. I mean, I small R. So you need to know the relation in that aspect. You have equation one, you have equation three, the same current is flowing, calculate the um, internal resistance for the other part. So all those things, you need to know how to relate them. Then when you are dealing with current electricity, know a bit of calculations about the Kirchhoff's law. So the voltage law, the current, the junction rule, know a lot of, of know how to solve questions on, on Kirchhoff's law. But when you are through with that, try and know how to solve questions on current density. They can ask you drift velocity, current density. Then when you are through with current electricity, another aspect you can see your own 10 questions is on magnetism. So know a lot about magnetism and magnetic field. Know a lot about force on the current carrying conductor and some bit of calculations on that aspect. Know a lot about electromagnetism and the applications. Those applications on transformer, the other part, try and know a lot on them. And we you like to ask you questions on transformer a lot. Then this conversion, conversion of galvanometer to ammeter, conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter, know how to do most of those calculations. And don't forget your factors affect resistance. I recall the well over A. So try to know much about that formula too. And another thing that is important is you knowing all this formula is not difficult, but conversion where you can give you like three factors to convert in your questions and if you are not used to convert conversion factor then you might have a bit of issues so please learn how to convert very well before you go for your exam then when you are through with that then have a soft touch on your atomic physics you know a lot about half-life how can i do some bit of questions on half-life so if there's any of these topics you have issues with i can find a way to maybe teach you online or drop them as a video for you to watch and quickly learn about these things if you feel like them. then i dropped something we're starting our marathon classes today that's on the 21st of august so we are starting today actually to this day that i'm making the video i i we are actually starting our marathon classes so if you're still lucky to join then let's work together and let's see how we can all be successful together and I really want to appreciate you guys for subscribing. I want to appreciate you for staying with me through, through thick and thin. <laughs> so this will not be marriage, but through thick and thin, I want to appreciate you guys for staying with me. And I want to appreciate you for making all your comments known, for giving the contributions and everything. So thank you so much. And please, if you're here to subscribe, if you're a first timer, you know what to do. Just send me to click the subscribe button like 
comment and feel free to share with friends and you have my contact if you have any issues i've been receiving messages from all of you i sent books up to some locations so why not message me that if there's any way i can help you we all need help financially but pray for me so if there's any way i can help you i'm going to help definitely so feel free to message me then a whole lot of time most parents complain that they don't get rightful information or know the rightful location to go to get some to secure some courses that they really want to secure so please endeavor to share our channel with them most times when they check we have students and we are located in the bathroom we have students from abuja from lagos from different locations and they are in the hostel so endeavor to share because sometimes when you when you lack information you don't really know what to do about life and information is the key to success so please provide it let them come around we work with students we train them we sit down to make sure they are successful in life that's our own vision that's our own goal and that's what we have been working towards all this while and that's why we're still coming online to tell you about the things you need to be successful so please subscribe we're still together and we have a lot of things to do together so i love you all god bless you so much and please don't forget to pray at the end of it all because it is god that will grant you success not man so in the next episode i'll be talking about biology i already did for chemistry the last time so i'll be talking about biology in the next episode so stay tuned 